Welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at the text tool within Inkscape. So the text tool is over here on the left-hand side. We just click this letter A, and that lets us click anywhere and to create a point where we can start typing text. But before I click, I'm just going to hit the plus key, and we'll zoom in here on our page, scroll to the top, and then I'll click right up here in the top left-hand area, and we see a cursor uh, appears, and we can start typing in whatever we want. Uh, when we're done typing, we can hit the escape key two times, and that gets out of our text tool, gets into our selection tool, and then we can click on the text, drag it around. We can do anything that we would do to a shape, so we can resize it. Essentially, it's a text object is what it is, and so we can resize it on a single axis. We can click it a second time, and then we can rotate it around. We can skew it, kind of create some unofficial... Uh, italics, I guess. Um, we can change the color. Come down here. We can change the color of the text. We can change if we want to have it be like a yellow text. We want to have it have a, a border. We can actually come down and hold shift just like we would anything else. We can choose a color like blue while holding shift and that will change the stroke, uh, the stroke color of this text. Uh, we can also get into the fill and stroke properties. So we can right click and go fill and stroke. And so we have the same properties that we applied to our shapes in past tutorials. So for example, with our fill, if we wanted to have a gradient instead, it would apply a gradient. It's not, you can't tell as dramatically with yellow. But we can come over here and do a pattern instead. So we can do like this wavy pattern. And it creates these waves through here with the blue stroke. We can also go into stroke and turn off the stroke. So it's just waves, but then it's not very legible. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, one thing we can do. I'll come back to my selection. We'll just bring it up here. We'll resize this down a little bit. At, at any time, if we want to change the text, we can double click and we can get in here and start typing more. You can do multi line. So if we hit, hit enter right now, it'll do a second line. And we can do, you know, multi line here. And so then these are all one object. If we hit the escape key uh, two times, we're back out and we can then rotate all of this together. We can move it all together. It's all just one big box of text. If I hit the minus key and zoom out, scroll down a little bit, we can come back to the text tool again and create a second text area. And we'll just type whatever we want. We still have our text tool selected, so if we click anywhere else, it'll create another text area. And yeah, that's what we can do. Now, if we want to change the font, or we want to change the font size, so we can just scale the text up like this. Um, but if we want to change the actual font, we can go up here to text and click text and font and it creates a nice uh, text options area here on the right hand side. And we can look at these different options including the font. So if we find a nice font that we want to use, just hitting the down arrow keys till I, and it gives us a nice demo, uh, demonstration of what the font will look like. Pretty similar to if you used any other you know, word processing software. Uh, we'll find a good font that we like. Maybe we'll do this one. So we hit apply. It changes to this type of font. We can change the font size here if we want to get a, a specific size of our for our font instead of just freehand scaling it. We can also do, um, so we want to make this, I select this talk, text box here and the settings for it are going to appear over here instantly. So whatever we have selected will be in our uh, options area over here. We can do justification, so if we want to do centered, we can hit the align to center and then hit apply. Now all of our text is kind of centered. It's kind of hard to tell because it's skewed also, but we can do right justified and hit, hit apply. So now all of our text is to the right hand side of this box, or by default it was left justified. Uh, so we have it justified to the left there again. Uh, what else can we do? So we have, um, like, if you're familiar with text, there's like letting and spacing. So if we want to change this space between these different lines, what we could do is break these out and have them be separate objects and then space it like that. But we can also just double click. So once we're in here to where we can edit the text or type in more text, we can hold down the Alt and Shift key at the same time and then do the uh, greater than and less than keys. And that will change that whole line to like adjust the spacing between those letters. What we can also do, I'll, I'll come down here and do it a little bit. So if we zoom in here, 
and we want to do, let's take this one and just call it TJ free. Now, if we just select a certain letter, I'll hold down the shift key and highlight just one letter like the J, we can, while holding the alt key, we can press the up and down arrow keys. And we can actually move that around. We can, we can also do left and right. So we can move around just a single letter. I'll come over, maybe take the R and hold down alt and press the up arrow key and take this E, uh, this last E and hold down alt and press the down arrow key. Maybe bring it in a little bit. So we see we can actually kind of change this all around to however we want. We'll take this T, maybe bring it up. So now we've got this kind of cool font thing going on. And then we can actually just take and, um, well, we don't, have to, we don't have to highlight it. We can just, while it's selected, we can change the font. And it'll, it'll keep it, you know, in that same, or keep the same uh, spacing or orientation we've set for these fonts, which is kind of cool. Uh, what else? Okay, I thought of one more thing I want to show you uh, with the text in Inkscape. So it's actually under Extensions, and we have this text option under Extensions. And so you can do some pretty cool things with it. If we just select the box that has the text in it, and we go to Extensions and down to Text, we can, for example, change the case. So if I want to change all this to lowercase, I just do that extension, and all of a sudden this is all lowercase. If the T was capital and the F was capital, we can also go to extension, uh, extensions and go to text and then go to change case, flip case. So that makes anything that was a capital a lowercase, anything that was a lowercase a capital. So that's pretty cool. And then also if we select this text here that has like three words in it, we can go to extensions because if we, want, we can break these up into separate text boxes. Right now they all just, they all just move together. If we change the color, they all change the same color together. But while it's selected, if we go to Extensions, Text, we can go to, uh, wait, where was that? Split Text, the very bottom. And then we can split by lines. If there's multiple lines, this one doesn't, this one only has one line, but we can split by words and then hit Apply. And now we have separate, so we have our original one still, but we also have all three separate words. So if we want to apply different colors to them simply, we can do that. If we want to make one of them like a larger size than the rest of them, we can do that. And also we can do the same thing with like TJ Free if we go to filters, or we go to extensions, I mean, and go to text. Let's make it all uh, let's make it all uppercase. And then let's select it again. We can break out every single letter. Sometimes with a logo, you'll want to do this. So we go to text, split text, and we'll split it by letters and hit apply. So now we have all those letters separately. It makes a copy. So we have our original here and then all the copy there. We can delete the original and then we have uh, every letter is its own little object now. And so now we can you know, color it accordingly or change the font of just the T and the J. So there's different, uh, yeah. A lot of times when I'm doing like logo design, I'll, I'll break them out like this and then that way I can do different things with them however I want to. So that's the text tool. Oh, okay, actually one more thing I'll show you. I always think of things last minute. So one thing cool we can do if we draw like a circle here and then uh, we can actually select some text and then hold down shift and select any object that we draw. And then we can go to uh, text, I think. And then we go put on path. And that puts the text on the path of the circle. And then we can rotate the circle around and we can see that text. Uh, stays, you know, mapped to that path, and we can actually click the circle and have it have no, um, no, have it be all transparent, no stroke, no fill, but we can still have just this text, and then we can rotate it, and oh, where'd it go? But you see, see the point. So it's kind of like art. You could have be like a have a rainbow and have your text uh, going uh, along that rainbow, and then you can still edit it while it's in there too, which is pretty cool. We can keep typing, and it types around in that circle. <laughs> so that's the text tool, just a couple of things you can do. Play with some of those if they've piqued your interest. And uh, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment below, and I'll catch you on the next video.